Hello everyone, today I have a good news for Redmi Note 9s users. Finally, MIUI 12.5 update is out for Cortana or uh, Redmi Note 9s or in India it's known as Redmi Note 9 Pro. Well, this isn't an official one, it's actually ported from K30 by Daniel Mokarov, also known as Decras, and it's basically a Xiaomi EUROM. This one is a stable build so you can use it as a daily driver. Let's check out the new features. In setting there's a dedicated section for customization. You can customize almost every customizable thing here. AOD style, clock style, icons, wallpapers, ringtones and fonts. In this room, incoming notification effects and uh, AOD works, but it's not recommended to use because Redmi Note 9S has an LCD panel and it will consume a lot of battery. Now this next feature is the most popular one I think, the new volume controls and a revamped power menu. Apart from that there are cool animations all across the UI. For instance, this cool hourglass animation for timer in the clock app. Check it out, it's cool. Switching between control center and notification center is super easy now. Just swipe left to right and done. Though not recommended to use, the AOD is fully functional. I think it's marvelous. You can notice a slight animation when you wake up the screen. And also when you press the password keys. It's cool. There's a new feature in the special features setting. It's called edge control. The concept is that when you tap the sides of the phone, it triggers a specific action that you can set. Well, for Redmi Note 9s, this isn't working. Actually, it's I think made for K30 which is a flagship phone. Now compared to Android 10 in this build the privacy features are more improved and enhanced. You can hide your precise location, mask up your ID and a lot more. Like any other e-ROM, you can allow rotation to all sides, even upside down. There are new doodling features in Notes app which looks a lot like that on iOS. The notification swiping is dished. You can see the options by tapping and holding the notifications. In control center, the brightness slider sticks to the bottom when you expand the panel. Previously, it would just disappear to the bottom. There's a minor change in the gallery app. You 
you can see this little tab at the bottom which lets you switch between the camera shot photos and all the other photos now this far the rom is so far so good i think it's better than the android 11 miui 12 roms out there for redmi note 9s or note 9 pro there are very few lags and i think the rom is perfect if you also want to flash it just check out the description there's a link you can go there and download the rom and all the flashing instructions are also there so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos have a great day